Ladies and gentlemen, today we're looking at Tal Drum from the fine folks at TAL Software. You may know them from Tal Sampler, which is a fantastic VST. And they just released this guy recently, very similar to uh, Tal Sampler, but more focused on that drum type workflow. So something you get with an MPC. So I have 16 pads in here, but I can use up to 32. I'm gonna stick with 16, and what I wanna show is how you chop up a drum break using Tal Drum. Over on the left here, I can browse my hard drive, so I have some bookmarks, kind of common samples that I use a lot. And let's audition some of these and find a good one. All the way C cut. Let's use this one, and I'm just gonna drag and drop it under this first pad here, and that assigns the sample to the pad. I'm gonna turn off one shot mode. Now let's go in and edit this. So in the editing area, something I wanna call out first before we chop, one, you get some a, a ton of different options in here. So you can chop the thing up, you have LFOs, envelopes, a mod, em mod envelopes, mod matrix, so you can do a lot of crazy stuff within here. But in true Tal fashion, there is also an FX section. And this is where you can mangle that sound and give it a, a gritty old school sound, like an old school sampler. A lot of these controls are similar to what you would see in Tal sampler. So in this lo-fi section, I can enable sample rate. We're at 44, 100. I can drop this all the way down. I can come down here. I can enable the bit reduction and go from 24 all the way down. All right, let's just go 12 bit. Then I can introduce things like jitter and hiss. Again, this is very, very similar to Tal Sampler. So as I drag these down, I can then come to shape. You have a saturation knob to add saturation. And you also have this hard clip. Now this is really cool. It emulates what would happen if you drove a sample into the sample inputs on your old sampler. Typically you get this really nice, uh, hard driven clip sound if you, you know, sampled an Amen off of vinyl into an S950 or into an S1100. So this emulates that. Whoo, it's very extreme for sure. With that saturation. Really nice controls here. The hard clip, I don't recall ever seeing that. Saturation, uh, Tal Sampler definitely has that. In the dynamic section, you have a compressor, so you can turn that on. Gives you a nice representation of how that compressor will react with the audio. All your basic controls on there. Good stuff. All right, let's go to Slice now. And I have this sample here, it's about one bar, but my project tempo is 163 BPM. I'm lucky I can see that this sample is 161.5 BPM. So I need to time stretch it just a little bit, just a little bit. So that's where you come into the slice section here. And over here, I can change my uh, stretch algorithm to AK4, which according to the manual is an old, old school cyclic stretch mode, similar to the old Akai samplers. Then you enter the BPM of the sample originally and you hit stretch and it will automatically time stretch it to your project's tempo. And I'm gonna drop the grains here. There we go. So if we just played a one bar loop here, just holding this note out, it should loop perfectly as is. So let's do that now. I forget. There we go. Yep, perfect, cool. So that's great, but what I wanna do is then chop this up so I can trigger each hit individually. And before that, let me quickly normalize the sample here. Cool. All right, over on the slice section, you have some options here. You can add slices manually within here. You can zoom in and out, add your slices. If you're very anal about where you want them, you have the ability to do that. 
or you can automatically add slice points at certain divisions. So if you want slices at every quarter note, uh, eighth note, etc., you can add those in. Maybe you don't like it, quickly clear it out. This is cooler though. Right below it, you have an auto slice. So I can jack up what I think is the sensitivity here. And you'll see it starts to guess where those transients are within your sample. You hit slice and it adds in these individual slices. Very cool, super easy to use. So then what I wanna do is extract each individual slice to a different pad on Tal Drum. Then I can trigger uh, each pad separately. Click apply to pads and you're all done. What I can then do is go to drag and drop MIDI, throw it on my timeline, and it will automatically sequence all of the different hits. Uh, that we chopped out, so you can see here. And if I back out here, you'll see we now have five pads with each individual slice. So if we play this, we should hear the full break. And then you can, you know, rearrange whatever you wanna do, all that happy, fun stuff. Very cool. That's how you do it, folks. Uh, there's definitely a lot more depth to this. So you have things like voice groups here, so you can implement choking on the different pads. You can go in there. There are a lot more parameters you can mess around with uh, for each sample on the different pads here, but really powerful tool. I like it a lot. It, it reminds me a lot of Recycle with this slice feature here and being able to time stretch to the project tempo and then automatically uh, slice based on this auto parameter here. So if you're looking for a modern replacement for Recycle, I wouldn't say this is a one for one, but it is very close. I'm not aware of many other things uh, that can do what this can do. Does it replace Tal Sampler? I don't think so. I think having both of them uh, in your arsenal is definitely good. And uh, yeah, that's what you get. Really cool TAL drum. I think it's on sale for 45 bucks right now. Go check it out. Peace out.